Imagine waking up in the middle of the night, gasping for air, feeling like an invisible hand is squeezing your chest. Sounds terrifying, right? For millions of people worldwide, this is a harsh reality called asthma. Asthma affects over 300 million individuals globally, and the numbers are rising. But what exactly is asthma? What causes it? And how can it be managed effectively? Stay tuned as we dive deep into the world of asthma, uncovering the causes, symptoms, and cutting-edge treatment options. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update on important health topics. Let's get started! Asthma is a chronic respiratory condition characterized by inflammation and narrowing of the airways. Imagine your airways as a series of tubes through which air travels in and out of your lungs. In an asthmatic person, these tubes can become inflamed, swollen, and filled with mucus, making it hard to breathe. But why does this happen? To answer this, we need to understand the underlying mechanisms of asthma. In a healthy respiratory system, the bronchial tubes are clear and open, allowing air to move freely in and out of the lungs. The alveoli, tiny air sacs, are where the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide takes place. However, in someone with asthma, the bronchial tubes can become inflamed and swollen. This inflammation can cause the muscles around the airways to tighten, a condition known as bronchoconstriction. Additionally, the airways may produce extra mucus, further blocking airflow. This combination of inflammation, bronchoconstriction, and mucus production makes breathing extremely difficult during an asthma attack. Asthma is often linked to an overactive immune response. When someone with asthma is exposed to a trigger, their immune system overreacts, leading to inflammation and swelling in the airways. This is why asthma is considered an inflammatory disease. Understanding this inflammatory process is crucial for managing asthma effectively. Asthma's exact cause remains a bit of a mystery, but it's believed to be a combination of genetic and environmental factors. If asthma runs in your family, you might be more likely to develop it. But that's not all. Environmental factors play a significant role, too. Common allergens like pollen, dust mites, mold, pet dander, and even cockroach droppings can trigger asthma symptoms. And it's not just allergens. Respiratory infections, particularly in early childhood, can also lead to the development of asthma. Exposure to irritants in the workplace, such as chemicals, fumes, and dust, can be a trigger. Lifestyle factors like obesity, smoking, and lack of physical activity increase the risk. And let's not forget about air pollution. Smoke, smog, and exhaust fumes are significant contributors. In urban areas, the prevalence of asthma is often higher due to increased exposure to pollutants and allergens. Vehicles emit exhaust fumes, and industrial activities release various pollutants into the air. Breathing in these pollutants can irritate the airways and trigger asthma symptoms. Even within our homes, common triggers can be found. Pet dander, dust mites in bedding and carpets, mold in damp areas, and strong cleaning products can all contribute to asthma symptoms. It's essential to identify and manage these indoor triggers to reduce the frequency and severity of asthma attacks. Recognizing the symptoms of asthma is crucial for early intervention. The symptoms can range from mild to severe and often include shortness of breath, wheezing, chest tightness, and persistent coughing. These symptoms can be particularly bothersome at night or early in the morning, often disturbing sleep. Imagine trying to sleep, but constantly being awakened by the feeling of not being able to breathe. This is a common reality for many asthma sufferers. The nighttime symptoms, known as nocturnal asthma, can severely impact the quality of life and overall health. Asthma symptoms can also be triggered by physical activity leading to exercise-induced bronchoconstriction. This type of asthma can discourage individuals from participating in sports or physical activities, impacting their physical fitness and mental well-being. The severity of asthma symptoms can vary greatly. Mild symptoms may occur infrequently and can be managed with minimal intervention. However, in severe cases, 
asthma attacks can be life-threatening, requiring immediate medical attention. Recognizing and understanding the severity of symptoms is essential for effective management and timely treatment. A fascinating aspect of asthma is that it isn't a one-size-fits-all condition. There are different types of asthma, each with its unique triggers and characteristics. Exercise-induced asthma, for example, is triggered by physical activity. Allergic asthma is related to exposure to specific allergens. Non-allergic asthma can be triggered by stress, weather changes, or respiratory infections. And occupational asthma results from exposure to irritants in the workplace. Occupational asthma is particularly concerning as it can affect individuals in various professions. Workers in manufacturing, healthcare, agriculture, and even office environments can be exposed to substances that trigger asthma. Protective measures, such as wearing masks and improving ventilation, can help reduce the risk. Diagnosing asthma involves a combination of medical history, physical examination, and lung function tests. One common test is spirometry, which measures how much air you can inhale and exhale and how quickly you can do it. This helps in assessing the severity and type of asthma. Another useful tool is a peak flow meter which helps monitor your lung function at home and detect early signs of an asthma flare-up. Accurate diagnosis is crucial for effective asthma management. Your healthcare provider will consider your symptoms, medical history, and test results to determine the best course of action. Regular checkups and monitoring are essential to keep asthma under control and prevent complications. While there's no cure for asthma, it can be effectively managed with a combination of medications, lifestyle changes, and avoiding triggers. Let's explore these treatment options in detail. Medications are the cornerstone of asthma management. Long-term control medications are taken daily to prevent symptoms and include inhaled corticosteroids, leukotrien modifiers, and combination inhalers. Quick relief medications, or rescue inhalers, provide immediate relief during an asthma attack. Short-acting beta agonists like albuterol are common examples. For severe asthma, biologics are used. These target specific components of the immune system. Examples include omelizumab, mepolizumab, and benrelizumab. It's important to use medications as prescribed and follow your healthcare provider's recommendations. Consistency is key in managing asthma effectively and preventing severe attacks. Make sure to understand how each medication works and its role in your treatment plan. Avoiding triggers is crucial in managing asthma. Identifying and steering clear of allergens and irritants that trigger your symptoms can make a huge difference. Regular exercise is beneficial, but it's essential to do it in a way that doesn't trigger symptoms. Swimming, walking, and yoga are great options. Maintaining a healthy weight through a balanced diet is equally important as obesity can worsen asthma symptoms. Breathing exercises like diaphragmatic breathing and pursed lip breathing can help improve lung capacity and control breathing. Creating an asthma-friendly environment at home is also important. Regular cleaning to reduce dust mites, using air purifiers to remove allergens, and ensuring proper ventilation can help minimize triggers. Some natural remedies may provide additional relief. Honey and ginger, for instance, have anti-inflammatory properties that can soothe the airways. However, these should be used as complementary treatments and not replacements for prescribed medications. An asthma action plan developed with your health care provider is a personalized plan for managing symptoms and knowing when to seek medical help. This plan can be a lifesaver. Using a peak flow meter at home can help you monitor your lung function and detect early signs of an asthma flare-up, allowing for timely intervention. Keeping a detailed log of your symptoms, triggers, and medication use can provide valuable insights and help your healthcare provider make necessary adjustments to your treatment plan. Many apps are available to make tracking easier and more efficient. Some individuals find relief through alternative therapies like acupuncture, herbal remedies, and yoga. While these should be used in conjunction with conventional treatments, they can provide additional comfort and symptom control. Meditation and deep breathing exercises can help manage stress, which is a known trigger for asthma. 
Reducing stress levels can improve overall health and potentially reduce asthma symptoms. Herbal supplements such as turmeric and eucalyptus oil have anti-inflammatory properties that might help alleviate asthma symptoms. Always consult with your healthcare provider before starting any new supplement or therapy. Asthma is a manageable condition with the right combination of medical treatment, lifestyle changes, and careful monitoring. By understanding the causes, recognizing the symptoms, and adhering to an effective treatment plan, individuals with asthma can lead healthy and active lives. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with anyone you think might benefit, and don't forget to subscribe for more health insights. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or personal experiences with asthma you'd like to share. Let's continue the conversation and support each other in managing this condition.